trust and obey For there's no other way To be happy in Jesus But to trust and obey Let us pray Father Lord Jesus Thank you for bringing us together to the will, to your way, to your will. And for this Bible teaching prayer, O oh Lord, where you teach us, speak to us, open the word of God, the scripture, so that we understand and pray, so that life, Lord Father, will remain, O oh Lord, in you, fervently in righteousness of the law, without deviating from the truth. Father, we pray, help us, assist us, O oh Lord, coordinate our life to live according to your will, so that the plan of Satan, plan of evil, will not be able to overwhelm or overcome us. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, we are going to Jeremiah 17, 7. Open the Bible with me. Jeremiah 17, 7. We're going to be reading some part of the Bible, which I believe you will benefit as we read together. Please, number one, I want you to look at it that we are actually coming here to pray into our life so that our life will remain on the narrow way we have reached the world mission so you are welcome thank you for joining us all time from time to time like this to pray to read the word of god to pray to actually cite the word of god to pray so that we'll be actually not 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 lose our focus on the narrow way and actually maintain the faith and the for every challenges that come to us on this narrow way whatever anything happen we are not actually we are not misled we are going straight so that is why we are talking about trust today open your bible to me to jeremiah 17 and in verse 7 are you opening god bless you in what is the meaning of trust firm reliance on the integrity ability character of another person trust in the law the cause of the integrity of the law doesn't fail his ability doesn't fail character of god is remain intact so when you trust in god we are talking of trust in god the maker, the savior, who said, I will save you. So, that I call on you, I will save them. I will give eternal of you. I will give the key to the kingdom unto you. Trust him, believe him. Those who trusted, we have had a testimony. So many testimony, people that actually they are in sin, unrighteousness, in wickedness, in adultery, in fornication, in prostituting, in killing and murdering. Even those who are religious, the high religion from that, uh, I don't know whether they call it mid or whatever it is, the way they come from. And they have come to Christ and to see the peace of the Lord. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't don't trust a man. Don't trust in all those uh, fake prophets, killing prophets, murdering prophets. Don't trust in people that are actually, they are here to make merchandise. But who that actually, they are on the way of the law. Not even trusting in people. Trust in the Lord. Look at it in Jeremiah 77. It says, Blessed is the man that trusted in the law, whose hope the Lord is. What is your hope? Let's look at Proverbs chapter 5. I start, I read from verse from chapter 3, I read from verse 5. Trust in Lord with all thy heart. Don't let anything trust anything but God. He said, and lean on, on your own understanding. You understand it, the philosophy of man, the scientists, the way they look at it, they turn the Bible. Some of them even actually prefer book of one man to the other. Do you know, do you know them when they even meet them and they are disciplined their are, are, are so-called book? It's one man that wrote it. They said one man in a long time that actually they started this meeting and they said there's no hell, there's no heaven. Don't trust them. Some of them, they have their book, they have their way, they pervert the, the gospel. Some of them even have a, only something they call, only book or whatever they call it and all they say there is to contradict jesus they say jesus is not coming back again they say jesus christ did not die they say jesus christ oh look at that all those conviction but trust in the lord let's look at psalm uh, let's look at isaiah open your bible to chapter 50 and in verse 10 who is among you that feared the lord that obeyed the voice of his servant that walketh in darkness Say so you trust the lord you walk in the darkness and act no light let him trust in the name of the lord and stay upon is God. If you, if you don't trust in the Lord, trust in other things and you are walking in darkness, darkness leads to hell. Of course, you know that hell is a place where for the devil. When you follow the devil, you are in darkness and you are in darkness too. Once you come to Jesus, there is no way to escape. Look at Psalm 23. Open your Bible with me. Look at what the Bible says here. Psalm 23 and I read from the Verse 4, open the Bible. I love people that open the Bible. That open the Bible and want to see correctly what the Word of God has actually actually proposed and actually give it to us as food as we read together. The Lord in His merciful way will help us. Are you opening the Bible with me? 23 and in verse 4. Open your Bible. He said, Yea, do I walk through the valley 
of the shadow of death and fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy star they comfort me hallelujah whenever you walk through the lord comforts you because you trust in him and he will not leave you alone in the name of jesus god bless you as you actually uh, wait and walk, walk in the way of the lord let's go to jeremiah chapter 7 and by the grace of god we look at uh, verse verse 1 to 4 what are you supposed to trust trust in the law what are you not supposed to trust before when you know what to trust you should know what you will not trust in jeremiah chapter 7 i read from verse 1 to 4 the word of the the word came to jeremiah from the lord saying stand in the gate of the lord house and proclaim there in this word and say hear the word of the lord all ye judah and enter in at the gate to worship the that enter in at the gate to worship the lord do say the lord of all the god of israel amend your ways And I will cause you to dwell in this place. When you amend your way, heaven is for you. Trust not, trust it not in lying word. Saying, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. Can you see? Look at verse 5. For if you thoroughly amend your ways and your doing, if you thoroughly execute judgment between man and his neighbor. Hallelujah. That's the essence. You trust in the Lord, not in lying word, not in deceptive, not in deception, not in whatever they do. So we are looking at three points today. One, blessing for the man that trusts in his maker. Open your Bible to me again. Let's see what the Bible says in that Jeremiah 17 and in verse 7. Bless is the man that trusts in the Lord and also is the Lord. The first one is blessing for the man that trusts his maker. Second one, blame for the misinformed that trust man. Then number three is the beatitude for trustworthy it mentioned. We mentioned it, you see it in the Bible as it's mentioned. What are the blessings that come the way of those who are trustworthy, who trust the Lord and if you, tr if you are trustworthy, you will trust the Lord. But if not, of course, you can be able to stand in the way of the Lord. Now, in 1770, say, blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord, whose hope the Lord is blessing for the man that trusts his maker. Who do you trust? If you are still in sin, you trust no God. Unrighteousness, you trust no God. How do you trust God? Because that God is your hope. What's the hope of life? Jesus is the hope of life. He's the one that came to give salvation and he called you, come unto me. And he said, I will give you rest. And it's the way, the truth, and life. Nobody comes to the Father but to him. The hope of life is calling you. So if you want blessing in reality, and you want the real trust, because no man can trust God with this flesh. That's why I said the trust in lying word will continue to trust. Because we are born in equity and conceived in sin. So it is lying, lying, lying you continue. Who taught a child to start lying? Because it's born and conceived in lying. And you trust the lying word of the mother saying, uh, uh, they said this is this, this is this, and they deceive him. When I come back, I will buy this for you. They lie to him and you start to to actually be the train and crop up in the in the life of the Lord. You come out of sin and come to Jesus Christ, the hope of life. Jesus is calling you. One blessing, real blessing of the Lord, you need to trust the Lord. And you can't trust God until you live sin and righteousness. You are consciously out of sin and you allow Christ to take over your life. God will help us in Jesus' name. The second point we are going to, without wasting time, is blame for the misinformed that trust man. Look at that, our, our study in Jeremiah 17, and we read from 5 on to 6. He said, Thus saith the Lord, Call be the man that trusts in man, and make it flesh his arm, whose heart departed from the Lord, for he shall be like the herd and the, uh, and the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in, in salt land, and not inhabited can you see where we actually inhabit is the dry land the wilderness the wilderness of hell it will not be your portion in jesus name let's go to jeremiah chapter 7 i read from 8 on to 12 behold you trust in line word that cannot promise that's the blame for them that's why there's blame they trust in man's land man's line word we cannot profit you profit is only in heaven if you come to jesus there's profit waiting for you we he still we want to steal Murder, commit killing people, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto a bear, and walk after other gods whom ye know not, and come and stand before me in the house which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all this abomination. You see, you say deliverance, 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 you are calling upon God, and you are delivered to do evil. Praying, you curse people, you kill people with your prayer. 
and you are saved. You have not left sin or righteousness. The line, the deceit is not there. And you are praying against enemy. You are praying, God help me in the medieval. I do. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh at people praying. You are praying your own life. You are not. You are not concerned about it to actually live the life that is trustworthy. Uh, let's go to the last point without wasting our beatitude for the trustworthy mentioned. Let's look at our study again in that chapter. That chapter 17. Open your Bible to Jeremiah 17. I start reading from verse 7 again. We are going to pray because I say I love. And those who say they pray for this, they pray for that. They even say enemy in the house, enemy in the top, enemy on the on the corridor, enemy in the house, everywhere. And they are enemy of the gospel. Enemy of truth. But by the grace of God, I will tell you, you will come out today. You will repent and start looking for those who deceive you, lying word that there's one enemy chasing you, there's one ant chasing you, there's one cockroach chasing you, there's one crab chasing you there, there's one thing or the other, there's one. But you yourself, you don't look at your life, you didn't check your life, you don't let, let what is going on. You are comfortable in sin and unrighteousness, you are even enemy to yourself by your lifestyle, by your approach, by not even trusting the word of God, by changing the word of God into lying opportunity for you to be converted and that's why the bless the beatitude the blessing for the trustworthy if you are if you are not trustworthy you can trust and what brings trustworthiness is jesus christ but let's see what are the beatitude there as the bible is, is mentioning it unto us in jeremiah 17 and uh, let's read from bar, verse 7 blessed is the man that trusts in the lord and who's who the lord is is verse 8 for it shall be like a tree planted by the waters hallelujah look at that they be like a tree and that spread out a root by the river and shall not see when the heat cometh but a leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit hallelujah you eat fruit in your family you eat fruit in your business you eat fruit in bringing souls to the law you eat food actually you will actually be bringing even the fruit of the spirit you will be coming out you will not cease from it because the holy spirit is living in you that's the beatitude of trustworthy but to be trustworthy you need jesus no human power trusting in flesh what i can do my study my ability you, you just become like pharisees sadducees and the scribes and the chief priest you will even be attacking the truth you know see your life do you like the truth can you stand by the truth totally you can't because jesus is not there maybe you had it you left him but you don't even have him at all so come to jesus today verse 9 the art is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it that's why you need to come to jesus the heart of flesh of man is actually deceitful come to jesus who can give you opportunity for salvation is calling upon you jesus needs you jesus wants you jesus don't, don't want sinners to perish in their sin and in their unrighteousness so he's calling me he's calling you today look at it in isaiah chapter before we can pray now so that we see what am i supposed to do to come to cry isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 but seek ye the lord that why it may be found, call upon him wise near. When it's not too late, Jesus is calling you. Call him, he's calling you. Verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way, wickedness. Those who are trusting in line, not trusting in God. Those who are actually trusting in men and have blame that is forthcoming in hellfire. He said, let the wicked depart away, and the unrighteous man is tough. And let him return unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Upon to return his ear. Are you ready to return? He said, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, he will abundantly pardon. Are you there? Close your eyes. Meditate and say, God, there are steps to the Lord realizing that I'm wicked. I know. I might, not, I might keep quiet. I might not be talking. I might even be preaching as I do. I might even be doing this. I might be going out for evangelism, but inside me there is wickedness deception lack of lack of no ready for total truth even you doubt the coming of the lord jesus christ even you are not sincere inside you can do what the world people are doing and you use your mouth to do this to do that even to talk against people and now god is calling you he said we abundantly pardon close your eyes and say lord jesus i realize myself i don't know this i am I can see myself. Thank you, Jesus. Forgive me. Wash me clean. I confess you as the Lord, and today I serve you. So start to pray and say, Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and partner Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for coming. 
let us pray together father we thank you because of the trust that is in you that is the never failing father we pray as many today as have confessed their sins as have love for you believe in you rely on you trust in you Father, forgive and let all of us make everyone in jesus name we are not going to the desert of hell in jesus name we pray amen